in the end you'll still be you One that's done all the things you set out to do Hi, my name is Steven Sindoni. Thank you for tuning into the broadcast of The Buck Stops Here, You're Fired. In today's program, I will put the spotlight on the men and women who are directly responsible for over $1 billion being spent on an unnecessary war on terror. I'd like to begin by addressing problem number one, the Afghanistan war. Since the war's inception in 2002, we have spent $454 million. Problem number two, the Iraq war. Since the Iraqi war's inception to this present day and time, we have spent $802 million. We don't need to be mathematicians to figure out that over $1 billion has been spent on both of these wars. Let's identify the cause of the problem. Both wars were created by lies surrounding events around 9-11. So who is responsible? The United States Senate. Now let's identify the guilty. United States Senate roll call votes, 107th Congress, second session, October 11th, 2002, vote to go to war. 77 senators voted in favor of this resolution and 23 were opposed to it. I will begin with the names of the 77 who voted in favor of it and if you'd like to see the 23 who voted against it, Just look in the description of the YouTube movie that you are listening to to find those results. Senators who voted yes in favor of the war in Iraq and Afghanistan were Allard, Republican Colorado, Allen, Republican Virginia, Baucus, Democrat Montana, Bayh, Democrat Indiana, Bennett, Republican Utah, Biden, Democrat Delaware, Bond, Republican Missouri, Bro, Democrat Louisiana, Brownback, Republican Kansas, Bunning, Republican Kentucky, Burns, Republican Montana, Campbell, Republican Colorado, Cantwell, Democrat Washington, Carnahan, Democrat Missouri, Carper, Democrat Delaware, Cleland, Democrat Georgia, Clinton, Democrat New York, Cochran, Republican Mississippi, Collins, Republican Maine, Crapo, Republican Idaho, Dashiell, Democrat South Dakota, DeWine, Republican Ohio, Dodd, Democrat Connecticut, Domenici, Republican New Mexico, Dorgan, Democrat North Dakota, Edwards, Democrat North Carolina, Ensign, Republican Nevada, Enzi, Republican Wyoming, Feinstein, Democrat California, Fitzgerald, Republican Illinois, Fritz, Republican Tennessee, Graham, Republican Texas, Grassley, Republican Iowa, Gregg, Republican New Hampshire, Hagel, Republican Nebraska, Harkin, Democrat Iowa, Hatch, Republican Utah, Helms, Republican North Carolina, Hollings, Democrat South Carolina, Hutchinson, Republican Arizona, Hutchinson, Republican Texas, Inofe, Republican Oklahoma, Johnson, Democrat South Dakota, Kerry, Democrat Massachusetts, Cole, Democrat Wisconsin, Kyle, Republican Arizona, Landro, Democrat Louisiana, Lieberman, Democrat Connecticut. Lincoln, Democrat Arkansas, Loft, Republican Mississippi, Luger, Republican Indiana, McCain, Republican Arizona, McConnell, Republican Kentucky, Miller, Democrat Georgia, Murkowski, Republican Arkansas, Nelson, Democrat Florida, Nelson, Democrat Nebraska, Nichols, Republican Oklahoma, Reed, Democrat Nevada, Roberts, Republican Kansas, Rockefeller, Democrat West Virginia, Santorum, Republican Pennsylvania, Schumer, Democrat New York, Sessions, Republican Alabama, Shelby, Republican Alabama, Smith, Republican New Hampshire, Smith, Republican Oregon, Snow, Republican Maine, Specter, Republican Pennsylvania, Stevens, Republican Alaska, Thomas, Republican Wyoming, Thompson, Republican Tennessee, Thurman, Republican South Carolina, Torricelli, Democrat New Jersey, Bonovich, Republican Ohio, and Warner, Republican Virginia. So what is the solution to this problem? Why don't we just ask Donald Trump? Now let's find out how Donald would handle the situation if he were President of the United States. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. 
You're fired. You're fired. You're all fired. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. The buck stops here. You're fired. I hope to see you all on May 11, 2011 at the Come Together Rally so we can send a message to these drunken sailors masquerading as our senators that they are all fired. Standing tall And a giant beside him About to fall Yeah.